They said to him, Rabbi, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. John chapter 1, verse 38 and 39. Where our self interest sleeps and the real interest is awakened. They remained with him that day. That is about all some of us ever do. We stay with him a short time, only to wake up to our own realities of life. Our self-interest rises up and our abiding with him is past. Yet, there is no circumstance of life in which we cannot abide in Jesus. You are Simon. You shall be called Kepas. God writes our new name only on those places in our lives where he has erased our pride self-sufficiency, and self-interest. Some of us have our new name written only in certain spots, like spiritual missiles, and in those areas of our lives, we look all right. When we are in our best spiritual mood, you would think we were the highest quality saints. But do not dare look at us when we are not in that mood. A true disciple is one who has his new name written all over him. Self-interest, pride, and self-sufficiency have been completely erased. Pride is the sin of making self our God. And some of us today do this, not like the Pharisees, but like the tax collector, as in Luke chapter 18, verse 9 to 14. For you to say, Oh, I am no saint, is acceptable by human standards of pride, but it is unconscious blasphemy against God. You defy God to make you a saint, as if to say, I am too weak and hopeless and outside the reach of the atonement by the cross of Christ. Why are not you a saint? It is either that you do not want to be a saint, or that you do not believe that God can make you into one. You say it would be all right if God saved you and took you straight to heaven. That is exactly what he will do. And not only do we make our home with him, but Jesus said of his father and himself, we will come to him and make our home with him. John chapter 14 verse 23. Put no conditions on your life. Let Jesus be everything to you, and he will take you home with him, not only for a day, but for eternity.